hip hop, yeah. hip hop, hip bars hip. is back, hip hop, Sam hip. and hip hop, oh god, hip. what's hip. up with you guys? Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side. And you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper. Alive. If you want to grow your business fast and put your brand, your business, or your product right before each video that we do here on Hip Hop News Uncensored, email me right now at advertise at hiphopun.com. That's advertise at hiphopun.com. Limited time only, slots are filling fast. Do not wait. All right, man, we got a breaking update coming from behind the walls with this young thug, Rico Case. Now, young thug put out a freestyle, but it wasn't necessary to freestyle, but the content inside the freestyle that had young thug fans and his family worried just a little bit. Now, I'm going to play the freestyle and then i'm going to break down some of the words that had people worried and really thinking about young thug's life at this point in time so let's get right into it man let's go i'm just sitting here in my cell like damn i'm really in jail god give me another chance to show you i can reveal i can put my arm from wall to wall that's one of those freestyles from jail that young thug dropped that has everybody talking now the particular part just in case it was a little bit too fast for your ears was the part where Young Thug admitted to having suicidal thoughts while behind bars. And he goes on to say, I tried to cry, but ain't nothing left. Contemplated doing it myself. And the most suicide deaths in this jail. But let's not forget, this ain't hell. Now, I would think, and I've never been in this type of situation, but I could definitely gather that being in this type of situation, that a lot of thoughts would go through your head and I think a, a lot of things one of the things that people don't talk about in the black community is a lot of homicides but there's also a lot of suicides they're not really talked about a lot yeah we're killing each other but a lot of people are taking their own lives and I think a lot of it has to do with you know condition and mental illness going on that's really undiagnosed and it's that pretty much is tearing and eating people up from the inside but like I was saying I think that there's a lot of emotions that you go through when you're being in this type of situation because you don't know if you're ever coming home you remain optimistic I mean lawyers talking to you every day and you remain optimistic but just like any other human being when you have those optimistic thoughts those negative thoughts creep in if you don't um, you know expel those negative thoughts from your mind right away just like anything else, they can start eating you alive. You start sitting there like, man, I might not ever get out. This might be my reality. Hey, man, you know what? I ain't trying to sit in jail. Let me go do this. I mean, there's been a lot of instances. Aaron Hernandez was one, the New England Patriot uh, um, tight end. He took his own life. And it's a lot of instances where, you know, people take them li their lives, you know, because they don't want to, you know, deal with the current situation that they're in. Now, let's talk about that jail. He's talking about that's, you know, high number that particular jail that he's in, a high number of people committed suicide. I believe him. I believe believe him in that aspect because, like you said, I mean, just think about it. I mean, especially you being on top of the world, you know, you having everything, and next thing you know, you don't have nothing no more. Like, you're not a star no more, per se. You know, money don't really mean nothing to you. The food is garbage. Everything is just trash. It's, it's almost like, you know, when you got those guys that go to the casinos and, you know, they, they winning so much and they're winning and they're living, living at the top of the mountain and then they you know start losing losing then they bet their last fortune they lose their fortune and they jump off the building of the casino and it's just like it's the same type of dichotomy in my opinion but i don't think he will i think that you know from what i've seen and what i gather he has a strong enough support system around him to where they're going to keep him strong but ultimately when you're in those situations it's just you now what I'm hearing, you know, he's not in population, so he's alone, you know, really probably not seeing people. So you got you, those four walls, maybe, you know, a couple of books and whatnot to kind of contemplate and go over scenarios, how you could have did things different and how you were doing this and how you were doing that. So in those times, it really shows you who you are and it shows you, right, who your friends are, your true family is, all of that. You you get a good chance to introspect say all right you know what never again if i make it out of this situation and that's what that's pretty much we talk about in his rap and his freestyle if i make it out of this psh, bruh, this ain't never ever happening 
again, and sometimes that's what people need to correct themselves and to correct their lifestyle. Now, I'm hearing a whole bunch of different things from a whole bunch of different people talking about the case is not strong, this, that, and the third. I'm not going to speak too much on it anymore. I'm going to let this thing, the formality of the case, continue to move forward. But, you know, in a way, I kind of feel for him. I ain't going to lie. Just, you know, another man, another brother to a brother, I feel for the situations that he's in. And all you can kind of do is sit back and be like, well, what if I was in that situation? How would I react? You know what I mean? Any man, no matter how strong you are, no matter how rich you are, you're probably going to have all types of thoughts that are going to go through your mind in this situation. But the best thing for him to do is to remain firm, to remain strong. Um, I anticipate them to continue to try to get bond hearings and to continue to try, you know, to, um, you know, get out. And, and, and look at Pooh Shaiti's situation. Cause sometimes it depends on how much you get. It might just be beneficial to sit behind the wall. And what I mean by that, I mean that, like, let's just say, for example, he gets an eight-year sentence and his trial don't happen for another three years. So then it's like, all right, you get the time served, and then instead of you, you know, being out on the street the whole time and having to go back in and restart that time, you already got time in. You got your three years in. You got, you know, five to do, which is probably going to end up being like three and a half because you can probably um, get out early on probation. But for me, if I was in a situation, I wouldn't be trying to hear that. I want to fight for my freedom from the outside. But again, I'm sure Pooh Shiesty, when he looks at it, he's like, you know what? Shit, it was better that they deny my bond. Because like, I'm getting out sooner than I would have got out because I've been in here all this time. So I guess it just depends on a person. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, man, these guys got to make better decisions. And ultimately, we'll get to see in trial. And hopefully, you know, everything is fair because I've seen a lot of these trials not be fair. I want them to have a fair shot. If they ain't do the stuff that they're being accused of, if they're being targeted and all that, cool. You know what I'm saying? I want them to have a fair trial. But it's your brother, old guy, man. Let me know what you guys think about Young Thug's freestyle um, and, and, you know, what I just said in the video. Um, as always, man, go ahead, guys. Smash that like button, man. I shouldn't have to tell you how to do it, but I do a great job of it. But for the ones who don't know, help the channel. Smash the like button. Share the video if you're on Facebook. Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, and the best thing you can do it right from the YouTube app. You can share it directly to Facebook and directly to Twitter. Let a friend know about this video and lock into the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already locked in. You know what I mean? That way, when soon as something happens, as soon as there's an update with this particular case, or we drop an interview, or there's another breaking news, another breaking story, you will be the first person to get that notification directly to your phone. The second, the second we drop the video and update you guys, you'll get it that second. I definitely appreciate you guys, man. Um, if you want to follow some social media, go inside the description box. Um, but here's one thing I'm going to charge you guys to do. The website is hiphopun.com. Hiphopun.com. Very easy. H-I-P-H-O-P-U-N.com for all your latest hip-hop news. And I made it very easy for you because I left the link at the top line of the description box. Go check us out, man. It's your boy, Oga. Leave a comment below. Smash the like button on the way out. Appreciate y'all. Peace.